New at 430, U.S. Postal Police want you to take a close look at these three people running away after holding up a postal carrier. This isn't the first time we've reported on carriers getting attacked. But as CBS 2's Tara Molina reports, there are now big rewards and calls for tougher laws to crack down on the criminals. This is where a postal worker was robbed just this week. You're about to see that crew on camera taking off with what the postal inspector says they stole. They're believed to be armed and dangerous. And this incident is just one example of why workers are telling us enough is enough. Running away, stolen mail and packages in hand. This is the crew the U.S. Postal Inspection Service is looking for, offering a reward of up to $150,000 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the three you see here, telling us they're believed to be armed. They're accused of robbing a postal worker here in the Austin neighborhood Tuesday in the middle of the afternoon, around 3.30. Uh, carry the carry is doing okay. A little shaken up. That's Elise Foster, president of Branch 11 of the National Association of Letter Carriers. Joining us from Moline, Illinois, where she traveled to be a part of a state safety rally, calling for more protections for letter carriers, specifically this, the National Protect Our Letter Carriers Act, bipartisan legislation addressing the rise of violent crime against letter carriers. While we have to deliver mail, we want to be protected and we should be protected. And we shouldn't have to keep talking about this issue, you know, more than we're talking about it now. We should have something in place. The act, in part, would address what the union calls outdated collection boxes and mail keys, which are often stolen, as we've reported, making workers a target. It would also change sentencing guidelines to make punishments harsher for those who assault or rob a letter carrier. Foster tells me on this recent robbery specifically, it's the second issue on this route. And while they want to see the three caught and held accountable, she says it's just a drop in the bucket when it comes to what they're up against daily behind this call for change. We should not have to be um, working in fear. The letter carriers are in fear. I am a letter carrier. I was on the street. I will be in fear because I don't know from day to day what's going to happen. I talk to postal workers off camera who tell me they do not feel safe, but they also feel like they don't have a choice. They have to keep coming to work. They're hoping something is done to address their safety concerns very soon. You can read more about the bill they're pushing for and the story that's up on our website right now. Reporting in the Austin neighborhood, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.